Caution, this video is intended to make you think. Coco here, how you doing? Freedom from the known. I don't know if I got that from Leo Bascalia or if I got that from Deepak Chakra, one or the other. But the premise is, <clears throat> is that there's a complacency, a comfort level in what you know. And what you know may be horrible. You may have a crappy job. You may have a crappy life. You may you know, have a crappy living environment. You may be surrounding yourself with crappy people. You, you know, it may be horrible. Um, you know, this is customary in like abusive relationships where somebody stays in an abusive relationship because they know it, they understand it, and it's something that they aren't comfortable with. But the problem is, is if they change, they don't know what they're getting. It could be better. It could be worse. But it will be different. And that's the issue at hand. The known is the known. And it may not be good. It may just, like I said, be boring and awful. You may hate your job. You may hate your life. You may, you know, you may be in an unhappy, an incredibly unhappy marriage or relationship. And rather than leave it, you stay in it because it's better than not knowing. Yeah, not so much. I'm going to disagree with that concept. But then again, I'm the kind of person who believes that running on the pool deck with scissors and jumping in the deep end is the way you live your life. Ponder that, think about that, and realize that the known is not necessarily the best situation. The known can be boring, tragic, and awful. Let's talk, contact me. I can help you get out of that rut, get out of that box, get out of that whatever, get away from the known, and be excited. You should be excited about the unknown. Talk about that, Coco.